Today we are taking items from the thrift store and mashing them together with some Dollar Tree finds. We're going to start with this embroidery hoop. They are gorgeous. They come in so many different sizes and this one is pretty nice. And I'm going to mash it together with some of these Dollar Tree fabric. It was only $1.99 and I thought it was a great deal. I'm going to open it up slightly just to remove that inner portion. And then we're going to take the fabric and we're going to iron it just a bit. We want to remove all the wrinkles actually from all over because we do want to use most of the fabric. Then we're going to place it on top of the smaller hoop. We're going to place it upside down and then placing that top portion right on top, pushing it in, of course, and then making sure that we are tightening it and securing it as tightly as we can. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. And then we are going to flip it back to the front. I want to cut the excess off of it, but I thought about leaving about half an inch and I love that I did that. I'm just going to cut around it, removing all the excess fabric, again, leaving about half an inch of the fabric. Now they are sticking quite up, so I did use my little mini iron to flatten those out and just kind of make them a little bit more sideways. I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, string to the back so that we can hang it. And I'm going to do that, adding a little bit of glue to the rim of the hoop. And then we are going to add a little masking tape as well. This is just for extra security. And then we're going to start adding some embellishments to the front. And we're going to add them towards the bottom right corner. We're going to start with these leafy greens that I use all the time because I love them. I love the bright green color. I added two of them and then I'm going to add a piece of foam right there to the middle of them. In that way that we have something to add the rest of the pigs. And we're just going to add different greeneries, different um, florals with a fall theme. And I'm also going to add some foam pieces that um, Dollar Tree carries, which I thought are so cool. This foam little mushroom didn't have a pig. So I'm going to take a leftover one, hot glue it right inside on the bottom. And then that way we have something to attach it to the foam. And I'm going to do some similar things. Just going to keep adding some colorful and tons of fall textured items. And I'm just going to add this last piece right here. And I got to tell you, this one is stunning. Love, love, love this. And the fun part is I can remove everything and still use the hoop from another project. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. For this next DIY craft, we're going to take this wooden box from the thrift store, which had great character, and we're mashing it with a fabric pumpkin from Dollar Tree. Actually, several pumpkins from Dollar Tree. They have tons in different colors, sizes as well. It had a great design. I love that rustic look to it. This plastic cover was meant to kind of maintain water and dirt from the actual box, but we're going to flip it over. We're going to use it in that form. I'm going to sand it down just a little bit with my sanding block to remove any roughness and then we're going to wipe it well. I want to keep the lighter tone rectangle design in the front but we want to paint it and give it a fresh new look. So I'm going to tape it using masking tape from Dollar Tree and then we're just going to give it a fresh coat, actually three coats of Waverly chalk paint and the sandstone and then of course we're going to let it fully dry. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to add to the front. I ended up deciding on a stencil, just keeping it simple and something that I can use from season to season. So we're gonna take this welcome stencil that is reusable from Essential Stencil. I'm gonna slightly tape it in each corner just to keep it kind of sturdy. And then I'm gonna use Antiquing Wax by Waverly and I'm just gonna start stenciling it. I love using this technique. It's just using very little amount of paint or wax in this case, and then just dry brushing it almost in a circular motion. And I love, love, love the way it always turns out with a crisp finish. It dried pretty quickly and we're gonna move on to just adding all the pumpkins and design. So we're gonna wipe the plastic portion and we're just gonna start hoggling right on top of it. I love this idea because then if I wanna reuse the box for any other season, I can just remove the plastic portion and have a beautiful box. We're gonna hot glue three of these pumpkins. They have tons of texture, but they complement each other. And we're gonna add moss in between just to cover up those empty spaces and you don't see the plastic portion of it. 
I'm going to speed up a lot of the process going forward because it is pretty repetitive, but I want you to see all the florals that I added. And I start always start with greenery first. These are all from Dollar Tree. I love adding greenery, then adding different color florals and just keep adding tons of texture layer upon layer until you like what you see. I'm going to add this last one here and I got to tell you, this is stunning. I love this box. I love that it was only $1.99. And it's on my dining room table and I love it. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next DIY craft, we're going to take this thrift store mason jar, which is beautiful. This orange tone. Oh my gosh. We're mashing it together with tons of florals from Dollar Tree, which you can see every single season. And fall is stunning. It was only 99 cents, which is a great deal. Dollar Tree is $1.25, and this one has a beautiful orange tone. I wiped it really well, and I'm going to trace the top here on some foam. And then we're going to use my X-Acto knife, and we're just going to score it. We're kind of, I guess, just cut it. But we're going to cut it with a slight angle going inwards. We're going to snap off all those extra pieces, and then we're going to attach it to the inside of the mason jar. Before that, we are going to poke a hole, and this is because we're going to add lighting, and we want to be able to thread the string lights through there. All right, so we're going to add a little hot glue and just press the foam right there, and we're going to show you the side view. It fit perfect, but it didn't fall through. All right, so here are the fairy lights. I do get these on Amazon, and I do have them in my Amazon store with tons more of my Amazon favorites, and it's always linked in the description box. All right, so we're going to thread them all the way in, leaving the little battery box outside and then taping it to the jar just like that and it lights up so beautiful oh my gosh the ambience is gorgeous we're gonna add some more moss to the top just to cover that foam and again we're just gonna keep adding some florals i always start with the greenery once again and then keep adding layer by layer color by color and the fun part is is there's no right or wrong way you can add whatever you want pumpkins greenery florals ribbon whatever your heart desires These little tiny pumpkins were left over from my stash from last year and I'm so glad I saw them because they are the perfect little pumpkin touch for this arrangement. I think anything bigger would have been just overwhelming but love how cute they are and this is coming to an end here and I gotta tell you it's one of my favorites. I could have added ribbon to the front but I just felt it just was beautiful the way it was and at night it has a beautiful glow. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next DIY craft, we're going to take this glass base I found at the thrift store for $1.99. It's heavy duty and it's really nice. It's a pampered chef kind. I don't know what it was used for before, but we're going to use it for an arrangement. We're going to hot glue some of this foam right there right on top, which worked perfect. It was like the perfect size for it. Anyways, I'm using hot glue because that way I can always heat it up and remove it if I want to reuse the base. But we're going to hot glue this pumpkin right on top. And we're going to, again, add tons of florals. This pumpkin is gorgeous. I love the black and white. I think it's very subtle and kind of modern, I guess. So, again, we're going to start with greenery. We're going to add it all around in between the base and the pumpkin, of course, right inside that foam. And then we're going to add, again, tons of color and texture with tons of leaves and just different things to add that fall festive look. This arrangement is stunning. Oh my word. It's on my dining room table and I'm gonna keep it all fall season. The neutral pumpkin with all the colorful florals is just perfect, but let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna love this one too. So make sure you click on it, watch, enjoy. 
have fun. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.